Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be continuing my journey in the political machine where I was playing as Donald Trump against Joe Biden. If you haven't seen part one, you will need to see part one. Watch that video, then come back right here. And before this video starts, I would like to thank one of our partners, The Apple. The Apple, uh, uh, go check out his channel, it's in my featured channels. You just go on his channel, subscribe to him, and watch some of his videos because he is trying to get to 1K views as we have partnered with the Apple. So head to his channel and help him out. And also help me out by subscribing to me if you're not subscribed uh, right now as well. Okay, as you can see, continue. So some, some minor, minor lag. Okay, yeah. Welcome back to week 15 on the campaign trail. You're in week 5 and you're... Uh, okay, good luck. Okay, wait, New York's right. Oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, wait, what's this info? Support for Israel. They really like Donald Trump for that. That makes sense. Donald Trump does support Israel a lot. Florida safe red, that's something I'd like to see in my lifetime. Well, not something I'd like to see. I meant like, I meant it as like a challenge, like, hmm. Florida's just Florida. It never, it always just wants to be close. It's been a swing state for so long now. New York's a toss up. I could, I'm not going to spend money on getting it back because we don't really need it. I don't need nothing. I wonder if they have VPs in this. Oh, California has a toss-up. Oh, we just took, made Texas safe. That's very important. We can't lose Texas or we'll lose, actually. Actually, we could lose Texas and still lose, but still, let's keep Texas. Oh, and California is also a toss-up. Weird stuff, man, weird stuff. Uh, sure, I guess New Jersey... Uh, draining the swamp. Everybody likes that. Let's put an ad about that because it says everybody likes that. Not sure if Democrats like. Oh, New York safe red again. Yeah, you keep going campaigning there. I'm not gonna help you out though with my money stuff. Trump uses ads draining swamp to muster support in New Jersey. Muster is like when you're weak. I'm not weak in New Jersey. I'm actually leading, I guess. Okay, America first. I'm going to endorse next because that does the best to me. It helps me out the most, I believe. Yeah, it helps me out the most. So. Oi, there we go. There we go. America first. There we go. Endorse. Next, we can endorse bringing the troops home. Energy independence or better trade deals. Energy, better trade deals is the most important, uh, best for me to do, it seems. Oh, there, it seems like there was some backlash in Maine and Connecticut. They didn't like America first, I guess. So then they backlash, backlash, and backlash. Okay, week 10. We're getting, this is like half, about halfway through. Of course, it would be like 10.5, I guess. I'm not that good at math. Actually, I am good at math. <laughs> New Mexico is flippable. Let's go America first, independence like that. Okay, oh, here, pick your running mate. We can pick Ronald Reagan. He seems to have the best stats, and Trump was inspired by Reagan. So let's have a Trump-Reagan ticket. Trump-Reagan, that would just be... It do just be like, it do be like that. Oi, Joe Biden is endorsing, eliminating fossil fuels, and uh, the Gibber is campaigning in Florida because it's a toss-up now, and Nevada's a toss-up now, and this doesn't seem too good for us anymore. And New Hampshire's a toss-up now. Oh, polls, polls. Who? They say that Biden will win the popular vote. Ha ha. Well, I'm winning the electorals. I I. Um, okay. Can I get better trade deals? No, I need aid. Oh, Biden's traveling to his home state of Pennsylvania. 
Let's, what is this? Hire operatives. We can hire people to work for us and do, I, yeah. Oh, Ben, we're going on the Ben Sharippo show. This guy just keeps destroying people. Or that's what he's known for. At least tariffs are generally a bad idea. They put the government, Trump supports tariffs. So, tariffs are important for trade. That sounds like something he'd say. Biology doesn't care about your feelings. That's definitely something Chaparral would say. What do you say to those who choose to identify as a gender that doesn't match with their biological sex? They are brave. How we identify, I would say, stop being no such as long as they don't. I guess that doesn't seem like something Trump would say. Trump doesn't really talk about transgender, LGBTQ much. He's just assumed to not like it because he's a Republican, but to be honest, he doesn't talk about it much at all. Better trade deals, let's go. Oi, New Hampshire just went red. We are win. Oh, I think, can we do another endorsement? Tariffs! That might have backlash. Might have get backlash from trade war with China. Um, do people like that? I guess. Do, do people like that? Do people. I've never seen much talk about do trade war with China. Nobody ever criticizes it, but nobody ever says, hey, I'm in support of it either. Oh, by the way, I'd just like to catch you up, Florida. Pen oh, wait, I just saw his VP. His VP is Tulsi Gabbard. That's a very, very interesting choice, seeing as Biden is part of the establishment. And Tulsi Gabbard is not liked by the DNC and the establishment. By the way, when I'm saying that, I don't mean any offense to someone who likes Biden. I'm just stating a fact that I'm not saying that the establishment is bad or anything. But he is part. Establishment means a regular type of candidate. No other, like Bernie Sanders isn't part of the establishment. Tulsi Gabb. That's just, that's just what I'm saying. Let's do bringing the troops home. Allies paying fair share. That gets zero backlash. So I, I'm for it. I'm all for it. Protecting Social Security, let's do that, I guess. Oi, Wisconsin and Minnesota went safe red. How is Michigan a toss-up, but Wisconsin, Minnesota is safe red? That's weird. I'm going to put a fixer in North Carolina to win okay we're going a bit overtime with this video actually not overtime but i think we are but election is in three days so in three weeks i mean so i think we should i think we should say what did that news article just say i think it said election night looking great for trump that's good it should look great for me oh michigan went safe blue and minnesota safe red even weirder guys this would be this is a cursed map right now we're playing on. This is most definite. Uh, sorry if you heard that. It might be annoying. <sighs> I might be getting some Twitch stream. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to notify you. We are going to be streaming election nights because every regular news is partisan. We're not. Okay. Okay, it's election night. Here come in the results. Oh, Maine is a t Joe Biden wins Maine. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. What? No, we lost New Hampshire, too. Okay, okay, okay. He's taking a big lead. Oh, we won Pennsylvania. We won Virginia. We won North Carolina. We won South Carolina. We won West... We won Florida and Georgia. We won Ohio. Okay, let's see anything else. Any other... Oh, we lost Michigan. We won Wisconsin. Um, We won Iowa. We won Minnesota. Let's win Texas. Oh, wait, we're at 241. Come on, 270. 244. 282. We're the president. 291. 296. We won New Mexico, Wyoming, Montana. Oh, we did better than 2016. Donald Trump got 306 electorals in 2016. Don't quote me on that. Alaska, let's go. Why am I getting hyped on Alaska? 
Okay, okay. Can I? Oh, exit polls. Their top issue was renewable energy. Okay. Oh, and we won the popular vote by 5%. First time Trump wins the popular vote. He must be really proud of himself. Same thing with you, Reagan. You still haven't lost it. Okay, thanks for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe and like. As well, look at our partner, The Apple. The Apple has partnered with us. Shout out to him. Subscribe to his channel. Watch his videos. He needs 1K views very soon.